Hey, it's Cliff, and I just wanted to make a quick video to let everyone know about this news that came out a couple days ago from the IRS. So let me go ahead and pull it up on the screen. So as you can see on the screen, it says 401k limit increases to 22,500 for 2023, and the IRA limit will also increase to 6,500. So we're looking at about a $2,500 increase between your 401k and your IRA. Now this is the IRS normally bumps these up to combat inflation. They give you a little bit more room in your tax advantage accounts just to kind of combat that number a little bit. But this is probably the highest I've seen it in my lifetime, $2,500. Normally, you're you're looking at a trade-off of your 401k. They bump it up maybe $500 to $1,000. Your IRA is normally like $500, bucks, but we're looking at $2,500 for 2023 in your contributions. So uh, that's good news if you're looking to help your retirement accounts fight inflation a little bit more. Uh, and so if you're like me, you're probably wondering how much more it'll take per month to max out your retirement accounts. And so I took 2,500 and I divided it by the 12 months that we'll see in next year in 2023. And I got about 208.33 cents. So you're looking at about roughly $210 that you need to save extra to max out these retirement accounts for next year. So that's something that you can take into the holidays and kind of plan how how can I get an extra $210 to fit into my budget to max these accounts? Because obviously the more that you invest in these accounts, the easier and the faster it's going to be for you to achieve fire and hopefully leave a job that maybe you don't like or pursue hobbies that you want to pursue, or maybe you just want to stay in the job and you will have enough freedom to where if you wanted to leave, you could leave. So that. That's pretty much all I got for this video. If there's any questions about this, please let me know. And thank you for watching.